Hello everyone, this is Walter Fate, and I'd like to welcome you back for some more Reddit posts. Today we're going back to something I haven't covered in a while. I mostly do this a lot less than Nice Guys because there's just not as much of it, but I should be able to make a video out of it today. So let's wrap up this intro and jump into this with Reddit Nice Girls 2. Nice Girls, for the uninitiated, are a lot more like Nice Guys than you might expect. It's closely related to Not Like Other Girls as well, so you might see some of that too. You'll see what I mean, so let's head over to Reddit Nice Girls for some posts. Sent my boyfriend a screenshot of it, showing he's active now on Instagram, saying he's a liar for saying he's going to sleep, to then refresh it two minutes later and it says active 20 minutes ago. Help, I'm a psycho, gonna be single when he wake up. This is the kind of shit that I can't put up with. I need alone time, and my time's always going to belong to me more than it does to someone else. I also like how she's aware she's behaving like a psycho and just decides to do it anyway. No, man, we exist. There's a difference between being a shopaholic, crazy, caked-up-faced girl who will laugh at all your jokes and says she doesn't want a relationship when she actually wants to, to a laid-back girl who cares about the world, knows how to spend money, how to crack a joke, and how to be with herself. See, here's someone who's not like other girls. Lots of random traits here, but she sure doesn't like women who wear a lot of makeup. How do you spend money correctly, anyway? I'm guessing not on Four loco like I do. I'm the girl who is always there for people when they need a friend. I'm also the girl who faces many issues alone, but will still do anything to see someone else smile. This is the kind of thing where you should say it with your actions rather than your words. Pretty lame thing to post. One thing that's always popular is watching nice girls talking to nice guys about their shared woes. So let's check one of those out. So you've dated every female? You gotta get with girls that aren't popular. All you men go for them and then blame all women for being hoes when y'all just chasing bitches. Same to y'all women. Y'all chase the fuckboys that ain't even nice and then complain about how all men are fake or some shit. Most of us don't even complain and if we do it's never about all women. Yeah, this really highlights how similar these two groups are by the way. What's on my mind? Gee, I don't know. Maybe the fact that I am sweet, kind, passionate, beautiful, sexy, smart, friendly, ambitious, adventurous, and I don't dress like a total slut. Yet I have no boyfriend. All the girls who are total bitches seem to be stealing them. So yeah, that's what's on my mind. And I thought I had a fucking ego. This has got to be the female Elliot Roger or something. When you actually date a real man, you'll get the, don't worry babe, I got it. Let's go. Let's do it. I planned this for us. I got you a gift just because. Instead of dealing with, Sorry, I forgot. I can't make it. Not today. You didn't text me first. I was busy. Sorry for not texting you all day. Type of man. This real man bullshit is cancerous. It's always something like, A real man pays for everything and spends every waking second talking to his girlfriend. If you have friends or things you like to do outside of that, you're obviously a fuckboy instead of a real man. Also, you didn't text me first? Like, if she wants to text, she should probably try texting him first instead of stewing over it. That's a lie. Because when you get a girl that's loyal and faithful and ready to stay and love you, you push them away or you fucking cheat on them. All you boys just want the bad bitches and slay queens because of fucking societal views or you think it's fun. As if girls never cheat. You speak of fuckboys. We true men are disgusted by them as well. Good point, but not all of us want that, and it is also the same with girls. Most of you girls want a relationship where you get treated like shit instead of a genuine nice dude treating you like a queen. All this bitterness and a few comments, lol. Yeah, these people can't see how stupid they look when they post these things. Staying single until I can find a man who knows how to treat me like the princess I am. Apparently she's 23. This is probably the kind of status that makes men run away. The best thing about being short is when you hug a guy and you feel his heartbeat against you and you know exactly where to stab him if he hurts you. These don't really bother me that much usually, but they're a lot less cute than the people who post them think they are. Up next, I wonder why this woman is so against paternity tests. What could possibly be the reason for that? I'm so tired of hearing these men out here saying I need a DNA test, or the little no good bitches he be fucking with saying get a DNA. Especially a man with no fucking money, like, the fuck would I say my baby's yours if I know you can't even support the motherfucker? 
SMH. This generation needs help for real. And bitches need to stay in their places. Bitch, you ain't the daddy or the mommy, so fuck you even speaking for. If you don't want to take care of someone else's kid for 18 years, you're not a real man. Let's add that to the list of things that disqualify you from being a man. Someone posting this should feel really stupid about it. This next one is really akin to nice guys. Guys complain that they want the sweet girl they can cuddle and watch movies with. You know where we are? In the friend zone where you left us while you chased the model looking sluts. Ouch. Well, it's nice that you're doing that. Don't know what the future holds for you, but I'm glad you have someone that can put up with you. And since we're telling our relationship status here, I went on a date with a guy that is extremely nice and caring. He's chill and he really cares about me, more than you ever did. We have a lot in common. He's actually going on another date with me pretty soon. He calls me beautiful and says he loves talking to me. I won't make you suffer though, so I'll let your little ego off and end this right now. Just wanted to update you and show you how awesome life has been without your ass. Bye, patriarchal man pig. Holy shit, if that new guy is real, I hope someone warns him about what he's getting himself into. If a man expects a woman to be an angel in his life, he must first create heaven for her. Angels don't live in hell. I personally wouldn't date anyone I thought was an angel. They have to at least be kind of on my level, and I'm pretty crazy myself. And there's nerds in the comments talking about Lucifer and other fallen angels, of course. No oh, Reddit. Why do whores with no self-respect always get the guy? Question mark and exclamation point. I'd like to imagine they're yelling it at the sky. I'm willing to bet her definition of self-respect is pretty special, though. I either act like a literal child or a bitch. There's no in-between. It's one or the other. Like it or leave it. Whatever you choose. She sounds like a delightful person, doesn't she? Because at one point in time, the reason I ever messaged you, because I liked you, and I had talked to Blank about it. But because you're so way over, I decided to not choose to like you anymore. Plus that now I have a boyfriend, I do not care what you think or do. Did that ever occur to you? Blank knew, because I told him to keep that between me and him. But every guy supposedly told me I can't like anyone, I wouldn't have a chance, because Blank's ten times better. So you don't have to worry about me liking you, of course, anymore. This is also a lot like Nice Guys. She's trying to heal her bruised ego after being cast into the friend zone. I think it's funny. A lot of guys say that. Oh, just got out of a long-ass relationship. Or I'm not looking for anything serious, but within days or weeks the posts some shit like Babe Heart or something like that. To begging with, it's not my fault you just got dumped. It's not my font. Fount. I want to date too. So just because your didn't work, you won't give a chance? I'm tired of that bullshit. They come to me saying to have fun. Why should I be a rebound? Why should I be someone comes to when they feeling lonely but horny? Well, I'm done with that bullshit. So you have a nice day. Bye. I guess he messaged her off Tinder, and all he told her to provoke this was that he wasn't looking for anything serious. Yikes. Yikes to the grammar, too, actually. This next one is particularly insane. If all of these motherfucking couples don't stop blowing up my feed with their happy relationship pictures and captions and comments making me sad as fuck, insecure, and maybe a little jelly, I swear to god I will start unfollowing and maybe even blocking your annoying asses, so stop. Only a little bit jealous? That's kinda hard to believe at this point. Ladies, if you come across a man who is smart, hot, humble, educated, financially secure, passionate, and patient, great at fixing things around the house and is not materialistic, love you like you are the only girl in the world and watches you whilst you are applying your makeup, while listening to every word you say, then please be assured that the weed you have just smoked is of superior quality. Yeah, do women want you to watch them put on their makeup? I always felt like they wouldn't want you to in the first place. But if all of these are the requirements for a man in 2018, then I'm probably screwed. Okay, let's cover a couple more, and then I'm going to wrap things up for this video. Good girls take 6 to 12 months to move on. Only hoes jump from dude to dude. Don't argue with me. This is science. Ah, which branch of science is that anyway? Let me know in the comments if you majored in it or something. 
Every time a man I date says, my ex is crazy, I walk away. Because women only become crazy when they're manipulated and lied to. Yeah, so if you have a crazy ex, you are 100% the reason for all of it. Pretty enlightening to me. I guess I'm more of an asshole than I'd even thought. Alright, just one more post and then we'll be done here. Let's see. She needs you, bro. The last thing she needs is for you to leave her, just like everybody else did, just because she's too difficult to deal with. She isn't close to her friends anymore. She can't depend on them like before. She can't go to her family because they can't understand her. Out of everyone in her life, you're the one who understands her. She depends on you to be there for her, because if it were the other way around, she wouldn't leave you, no matter how crazy you get. Well, I know it's hard sometimes, but don't stay with someone just because they're dependent on you. It's not healthy for either person. And these pictures really don't help people out sometimes. Well, anyway, that's about all the time I have for you today. I know some people are going to be happy I'm covering women for once, so there you go. I want to thank everyone for watching. I am stunned by my subscriber growth after that collab. I'd say it was mostly a success, and I hope everyone sticks around for more Reddit content and whatever else I come up with. Thanks to all my subscribers, and if you're new here and like this video, I'd encourage you to like, comment, and subscribe. Those things all help me out a lot. I'm also going to thank my generous patrons, not by name yet though. And I want to thank Natty Rush for keeping me hydrated while I was working on this. Not to mention all the nice girls of the world. Hope they all find a nice guy or a free ride or whatever it is they want. Have a great night, everyone.